G'day guys, <laughs> Chris here from Spartan and again we have our superstar trainer, Elna, who is on her way to becoming a world class master of sport and kettlebell lifting. And we're going to ask you questions today on the swing, the fundamental move in kettlebell lifting. If you don't get this right, you're pretty much screwed for the rest of the exercises. So Elna, talk to me, what's important with the swing? Yes, uh, to keep your neck and your back in your troll. Okay, do you want to turn up to the side and show everyone what you mean by that? Okay, so what you can see here is Elna's neck is staying in the same alignment as her back. If people were doing it wrong, what would it look like? And you can see her chin is coming up, her neck is coming backwards, and she's actually overextending your back, you would say, yes? Yes. Yeah, okay, so this is what we want to avoid, so you can see a nice straight line. And this will help people create efficiency, yeah? Yes, so that they don't, don't arch yes. their back. And that could possibly injure their back yes. as well. Exactly. Okay, so we want to avoid that. So neck and back should be a nice neutral alignment, and this will help you relax. What else is really important in swing? Uh, to breathe. In okay. uh, in Breathing is pretty important generally. Yes, it's very important. <laughs> you can't hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So okay, so how, how, how should we be breathing when we swing? Breathe in each moment. Okay. Nice. So you can see I'm breathing out on the way down as she relaxes. And breathing out again as the bell reaches that weightless point at the very top of the swing. So this is also good for relaxing and, and yes. uh, getting more rest. energy so you don't pass the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so we can get more efficient, save energy, get more reps, you need to relax your breathing. Yes. Okay, what else are you going to tell us about the swing? Uh, do not overextend okay. your arm. Okay. So a lot of people would be swinging with their arms yes. way out too far. What do you recommend? To keep it close, uh, your arm, both yep. nice, should, nice should close. touch your, your body. Yep. Okay, and this makes the bell travel upwards in a straight line, keeping it nice and close to your body, which once again is going to make it far more efficient. Can you show us what it would look like if we were doing it wrong? You can see a very straight arm position, and this is taking a lot of pressure onto her shoulders. So we want to keep it nice and close when we yes. do this correctly. It will save you from injuries. Save you from injuries. So when the bell's traveling away from your body, you could actually stretch, stress your back out, couldn't you? Yes, and you are... Um, your biceps and... Yes. Yeah, or your connective tissue and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So there you have it, guys. Three really important tips for the swing. First, we want to breathe. We want to relax our arms as much as possible. And of course, as we looked at the start, the neck and the back should stay in mind. And this, all, these ex, all these tips are really going to help you relax and perfect your swing, especially, once again, if you're thinking about competing, you need to get this stuff right. Yes. Absolutely. All right, guys, you can check out more at kettlebells.me.